plans for some time now. I know who you were the moment you set foot in the world. Your gifts. Hold on to us now. The Doom universe is full of things that we still do not understand, mainly because the game hasn't taken the time to explain those things. For example, how was Hell created and what does it do exactly to absorb entire planets and dimensions into their own? Who is the ruler of the Hell dimension? The only thing we know is that he is called the Nameless One the Dark Lord of Hell, and actually Hell itself is a living, sentient being, so maybe the Nameless One is not an individual, like a very strong demon lord or something, but the Nameless One is the whole entity of Hell itself. Really interesting stuff, to be honest. The lore of the Doom has just begun, basically, so a lot of things surrounding the story have only been vaguely mentioned, and because of that, the community of Doom has gave birth to a of members speculating on a lot of things on the lore. Most of the times it's right spot on, because in some scenarios of the story of Doom, trying to decipher some lore in the story is basically just connecting the dots. Really simple stuff. The Ancient Gods Part 1 comes out in exactly 4 days. 4 more days, guys. Damn it. Prior to the release, I've gotten a ton of messages of people asking me to do a video on the corruption of the gods and the angels, so I'm going to do that just now. Hello, Spottins, welcome back to another Doom Eternal video. In today's video, we're going to talk about the corruption of the gods, the angels, archangels, and the overall fall of the Maker Society and Heaven itself. The Makers, even though they were a highly advanced civilization to the point that they were considered gods and had godlike power, they were no match to the corruption of the demons of Hell who proved to be even more powerful than them. Which is ironic, the Makers achieved the creation of Orgent Energy, which was the combination of the essence of Hell with Wraith Energy. By the law, Orgent Energy is the will of the universe, so because of that, the Makers were said to be the most powerful beings in the entirety of the cosmos. The demons only used but a tiny fraction of the essence, and yet, they speared through the forces of heaven with brute force. <coughs> so many godlike powers for basically nothing. Do you want to know what's also godlike? It is you, my friend. Stay awesome. And this graph as well. 69% of my daily viewers are not even subscribed. Look, Ancient Gods Part 1 comes out in 4 days, and it's going to add a lot of new content and lore to the game content and lore that you can find here on my channel. So if you want to know everything about Doom Eternal and its DLC content, consider subscribing, turn notifications to get all future videos, and leave a huge like. Thanks for the support and enjoy the video. Also, you are godlike, brother. I wasn't joking. You are awesome. Stay awesome. Now, how did the angels, supposedly immortal beings that had godlike power, got corrupted and turned into demonic creatures like the blood angels? To know that, we need to go back to when the Doom Slayer severed the flow of urgent energy from the damn city of Necrobol into Erdak. For the Doom Slayer to be able to reach heaven, or Erdak, where no man hath been before ever in the existence of the cosmos, he needed to go to Necrobol, the soul refinery factory that merged the essence of hell with the souls of the humans and the wraith energy to create Argent energy. That city was created by the makers with their own technology. Argent energy was then filtered through a slip gate, going straight into Erdak. When the Doom Slayer destroyed the Argent transmitter on Necrobol, it propelled the Doom Slayer straight to this holy place. Now, even after the Doom Slayer used Necrobol as a sleep gate to reach Erdek, the demons of Hell were still not able to pass through the gate. And that was because the Holy Seal, a seal that stated that no demon could ever enter the holy place of Erdek, was still intact. When the Khan Maker was with the Icon of Sin, she intended to awake him on the earth. Being that the Icon of Sin is a demon after all and that his whole presence is able to create the black holes. 
But when the Doomslayer stabbed the heart of the Betrayer's son, it awakened the Icon of Sin, making it impossible for the Con Maker to control him, and breaking the Holy Seal at the same time. Because the Icon was awakened on Erdak, the Holy Seal was broken, and the Demons of Hell were able to pass through the Void as never before. The Doomslayer, by stabbing this heart, brought eternal damnation to the Maker's homeland, Erdak and Heaven. Now, when the Icon was awakened, it did something to the Maker drones that were on the area. Maybe he absorbed some of their energy, or maybe he implanted the seeds of corruption into them. The Maker Drones do have a mind for themselves, but they are all linked and connected to the Con Maker and to one another. So maybe, when the Con Maker finally died, all protection the society of the Makers have was all but gone, and the seeds of corruption could spread even more. That is for the Maker Drones, but... What about the angels? The angels are not directly linked to the Con Maker. She has no control over them. But because of their devotion to the ruler of Erdak, they served her. Then, how did the Maker angels got corrupted by the demons and got turned into the blood angels of hell? It is stated that whenever a demon kills a living sentient being, that being will go straight to hell and it will be demonified and turned into Hellspawn. And that applies to everything, basically. If a demon kills a cow, that cow will go to hell. And if hell deems the cow worthy to become a demon, a demonic cow will emerge from the very depths of hell. Maybe, in the invasion of the demons on heaven, the demons fought against the angels, and just by killing one of them, hell had a chance to demonify them creating the blood angels of hell. And that's not all, we still have another species on heaven that we are yet to fight against, and those are the archangels, these giant crosses. We only ever see one of them on the campaign, and it's at the very start of the Erdak level. These giant beacons serve as gods of the Holy Land, protecting it from whatever threat that crosses the void. Maybe we will see demonic archangels in the future DLCs. One can just hope. The corruption of the gods and angels is a combination of several things. The destruction of the Flow of Origin, the awakening of the Icon of Sin in the Holy Land, and the death of the Con Maker. These three simple things gave every advantage the demons needed to corrupt and take over Heaven. And all of that was pretty much a gift from the Slayer, one that the Slayer will take back in the coming days. Also, the corruption of the angels and the gods is not exclusive to the Maker Drones, the Maker Angels, and the Archangels. As you guys can remember, there is a big, gigantic Con Maker body submerged on the water on Erdak, so maybe, just maybe, that body was corrupted as well, and maybe we'll fight against a, a corrupted Con Maker body in this new Ancient Gods Part 1 DLC, or maybe in Ancient Gods Part 2. Whether it's true or false, that is actually something pretty goddamn amazing. The demons of hell corrupting a sacred, very powerful body, the body of the Con Maker. Thanks for watching. And so, case buttons, that was all the time I had for today's video. Please let me know what you think about this video down in the comment section. Leave a like if you did, and a dislike if you disliked the video. It is completely fine. If you dislike the video, you know exactly where that button is. It is down below, besides on the right side of the like button. If you didn't like the video, Dislike right now. Right now, do it. If you disliked it, it's fine. Dislikes and likes is a way for me to know if the videos I do are fine or bad. Also, constructive criticism comments are in the comment section. I appreciate all type of criticism. I do. Because I want my videos to be good. And you guys help me a lot of knowing if my videos are good or bad. So if you have something to say, See you down in the comments. I'll I read all the comments. I always do. Thanks for the incredible support buttons. I love you. Thanks to all of my patrons that made this video possible, and links to all of my social accounts will be down below. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, 
Instagram and on Twitch. All links are down below. Thanks for the support and have an awesome weekend. Thank you. Adios. This was weird. Bye. <laughs>